You're a junior UX researcher and you've been given an opportunity to plan your first study. You know that having a good set of research questions is important for focusing your efforts and delivering useful insights. What does a good research question look like? So first and foremost, a good research question looks like something that is actionable. So it is something that we will be able to make decisions based on the answer to it. So it really is, it's something that ties directly back to the goals of the people asking the question. And it is something that does not include an answer already within it. So in, an example, like maybe the worst research question I've ever been given comes from my favorite PM of all time, John Adams. And he, his research question at the very outset way back in the day at Dropbox was something like, how much should we build this thing? Basically, he was like, how much should we build this new product that we definitely should build? And I was like, John, where do you, where are you getting this idea that this product is needed from? He's like, well, I mean, it just seems like, and I was like, okay, cool. (laughs) Like he didn't really have an answer. And so it's, after we talked for like an hour, they, we finally got to this question where he was like, I think what I would really like to understand is how people work with their clients. And I was like, okay, that's a very different research question <laughs> than how much should we build this definite product idea that we are going to build. And so I think a lot of it really is like going back to as far down in the assumption chain as you can. And so a truly good research question does not contain any assumptions. It contains a wide open space that does not have a solution inherent in it. And so the way that I always get to those is really by being like, well, how did we, how do we know we want to do that? Okay. Well, how do we know we need that? How do we know it's clients? Like, how do we, and eventually you get down to like the actual deep root of the question, which is, oh, we, you know, and my favorite answer is always, oh, we've seen some interesting logging data, or I've seen something directional in the market, or like there is a signal, but we don't understand what that's like, why that signal is happening or what to do about it. So that's, I, all my best, best research questions have come from a moment where there is signal and gotten down to, hey, we see this what, why, and how is happening there. That to me is like the ultimate best research question. I do still get a lot of like, how much should we definitely do this thing that we're going to do though. And reframing it like you talked about there is actually really useful because you can change it from how much should we build this thing to should we actually invest further resources into building this thing or exploring this thing, depending on what the, the question is that you come up with. 